And welcome everybody in the stream today and of course over on youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. We have a repeat deck here. We have some more Hadana Stompy. This has certainly been a very popular deck and rightly so. We've uh, had a lot of success with it. So I'm making one small change today. Uh, we haven't really upgraded the deck in a couple weeks. Uh, I've been playing it through some leagues without really updating it because we were having success. But I think I haven't been as impressed with Kral Harpooner. Um, there's just not tons of drakes and things. So I'm going to trim one Kral Harpooner and just get the fourth Wild Growth Walker in the deck. We all know how good Wild Growth Walker can be. So let's just get the fourth Wild Growth Walker in over the third Kral Harpooner. But besides that, keeping everything else the same, keeping the sideboard the same over here. We still got our couple Carnage Tyrants over there. So got a third Harpooner in the board if we do face Drake. So we have we have three Harpooners, three Vivians for that kind of removal. Hopefully that's enough. Um, and there we go. This will be our first deck of the day. Kicking it off. Hey, Bursky. And hot outside. Howdy. How's y'all's Wednesday coming? Sidracha. Hey. You got to Mythic and Constructed. Way to go. Way to go. Good job. That's that's not easy at all. So, good work there. That Lion Tamer. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Just got two more hours until the workday ends. That's good. There you go. Keep getting through it. You're almost there. All right, so we're on the draw. Opponent keeping seven cards. Our seven card hand would be really good if we had Breeding Pool instead of Woodland Stream. Um, I think I'm still going to keep, though. I think it's kind of likely we draw a land in one of the ter first two draws to just be able to go with Branch Walker right away. And even if not, it's not the worst. This is certainly a hand where we'd want our opponent to be playing more of an interactive heavy deck because it is very slow. And it looks like that's what our opponents got with uh, Esper Control. So that's good news for us. The problem is they have turn two search for Scanta. It's kind of hard to be turn two search for Scanta. We'll see if we can do it. All right, one more land, and we can start going with these Jade Lights. Jade Lights can get us a lot of value. Um, you know, certainly expecting counter spells. The thing that we definitely do not want to see from our opponent is Teferi next turn. That is certainly what we do not want to see next turn is Teferi. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, we got Hadana Stompy. This list got you to Diamond last night? Awesome. Cool. I made one very small change. I took out, uh, you know, we had three Harpooner, three Wild Growth Walker. I moved it to two Harpooner, four Wild Growth Walker. So made one very small change there. All right, no Teferi. Good for us. Yeah, that's good for us, Hawkeye. Hey, okay. I don't want Jade Lights to get countered, which is why I'm I'm kind of uh, playing some other things instead of Jade Light, because I feel like they have a counter spell. But it looks like they have like you know sweepers and stuff. But they play Cleansing Nova. We at least. A ritual so that we more likely get to resolve Jade Light Ranger. Nope. 
drawn lots of cards. Looks like we're going to be too slow to beat Azkanta. Some exploring in. Graveyard. Graveyard. Wow. Not very fortunate with our, our land situation. I don't think we can beat Escanta, honestly, from here. We'll try, but. Not trying too hard. Angry Poncho. Yep. The stream is up. That's what Hawkeye is telling us. Hmm. Thinking about putting in... Could potentially put in these Rex Ages. So we've seen... Two enchantments from them so far. Play some Rex Ages. Just that's a lot of threes. A lot of three, four, five, six. Not really anything to do with one and two. Um. I'm going to trim one steel leaf just to kind of change the curve a little bit. Have a second wild growth walker in there. Ah, it's just playlist. Yep. Stream playlist is absolutely public. You can find it there. Yeah, I I allow links in chat. Yep. Yeah, Sid Racha, you can, you can post your deck list in chat here. for cunning stunt me in. How about Vinemare on the board? Vinemare would be good in this matchup. There's not very many matchups that Vinemare is good against though. Um, which is why it's not in the sideboard. It's just, it's a pretty um, narrow card. It's even like against Jeskai, where they're playing, where they're playing, um, uh, Deafening Clarion for a sweeper, you know, it dying to Deafening Clarion is, is, uh, not so good. And against Golgari, that's the deck with the most black in it. Um, they have green creatures that block it very efficiently. Carnage Tyrant's tough here. We only have four mana. So we're two we're still two lands away from Carnage Tyrant. This is a good card though, of course. I'm gonna graveyard it. Okay, you're playing two Ferox and two Vine Mare for budget Hadana. I can see that. I think our opponent's definitely playing Ritual of Soot next turn. So I'm not playing another creature out there.
Hmm. Yeah. They're certainly waiting for me to play more things. Could be cleansing Nova now, though. Fairly new to Magic, but I feel like I'm a halfway decent player. I've gotten to within two games of Platinum three different times, only to fall back to lower tiers, and that was with a self-made Dino deck. Yeah, that's really good. Got frustrated, made a Boros Aggro deck, and I'm done worse. Oh, no. So we'll just discard the Nullhide Ferox into play. You know, Cleansing Nova cleans this up, but now Ritual of Soot doesn't clean it up anymore. You know, they'd have to have White Source plus Cleansing Nova. Mr. Previously, hey Todd, have you seen the Ravnica Allegiance cards? Yeah, I have. Um, I didn't see what my opponent said. I don't want to say good game because I didn't see if they said good game or not. Um, I I think Simic is going to be a lot better in Limited than in Constructed, in my opinion. A lot of the Simic cards look really good in Limited, but not as good in Constructed. Um... Right on. Let's skip to the good part. Um, Esper's looking good. Esper's got a lot of things, but uh, I certainly like uh, where Gruul and Rakdos are at as well. So they can block Null Hide, but they still take six. <laughs> Alright, and I think I keep it like this. I don't know about two Rex Ages. Go to one Rex Age. Rex Age is great against Azkanta. I don't know if I really need it for Eldritch Reborn. I could see my opponent taking out Eldritch Reborn. After the Null High thing. But maybe not. Yeah, Afterlife is going to be awesome and limited for sure. Not not as sure about constructed, but definitely awesome and limited. So we have negates instead of spell pierces that are just a, a hard counter spell. Um, but I've been I've been very impressed with dive down, kind of in general. Stopping you know stopping things like ravenous chupacabra is real important. Ramage shoe cover is like the biggest thing that's real important to stop. Well, I got good counter magic to start with. And they're ditching the Ritual of Soot. And there's us Kanta, but no more counter magic. So we get Null Hide into play. Them only having three mana and Null Hide is quite strong here. When you're attacking with a bunch of low power afterlife creatures, you can't really afford to play around Settle. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, Settle. Settle's going to be good against afterlife. 
Hey Sudi, you doing good? Doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. Alright, so Null Hide can end the game in three turns. That's the plan. Not casting Branch Walker here. I want to keep up Negate. If they play Teferi, I want to be able to negate it. If they play something to deal with this Null Hide. Um, you know, something to deal with the Null Hide, I can dive down it. But remember, Negate is going to cost us four mana because we need to pay two for Null Hide. But just kind of protect the null hide. That's our that's our game plan. Yeah, even eldest we we have the negate for that, so we're good there. <laughs> our guy's licking his paws. He was just eating the last of his lunch. I could hear him back there. The bull. Uh, moving around. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you talking to me? Talking about me? I hear you there. Uh, we'll see if Wilderness Reclamation really is that broken. We'll see. Um, it's it's going to be an interesting one, most definitely. Um, yeah, don't know. What's the weather like? It is not hot outside today. <laughs> Here, um, it is pretty cold. Um, 50, high 40s, low 50s, around there. All right, so they're buying themselves a turn. I'll allow it. Stop that! Now! Alright, get rid of that thing. So can't really stop a cleansing Nova here, unfortunately. Um. But I'm playing the Branch Walker because, you know, to, to have the Eldest Reborn protection. So we got protection for Eldest Reborn. And I, I'll save Branch Walker from... Like, if they have another Fungal Infection, I'm not going to... Like, I'm going to have Dive Down trade with Fungal Infection if they have another one of those. Um, that I don't want them to block because I don't want this game to go, you know, much longer. I want to end it next turn. But they could have... They need to Settle or Cleansing Nova. I think I only had one dive down at the time. I was letting them buy the turn, right? I think I drew the dive down, then, yeah, right after that. Yeah, the second one. If I, if I would have had two, I would have used it. But only having the one, I wanted to still protect it in case there was a, a cast down or something like that. That's, hey, no problem, Sidracha. I just got a Ferox yesterday. I was playing in the Momir's Madness event. Nice. That's a good one to have in Momir Madness. That's a really good four drop. Okay, so I did have two. They, I know they had two mana available um, that turn, because um, they had five because they could have played Teferi, and it was one man, or it was two mana for the Null Hide, one mana for the for the Fungal Infection. I know they had two extra mana, um, so. Uh, okay, cast down that thing.
I say no, because they could go land Eldest Reborn. They cannot go land Eldest Reborn anymore. But that does gain them life where this Null Hide doesn't kill them this turn. I don't think they have another cast down. You know, now they could cast down the Null Hide, but I, you know, I'm calling that. I don't think they have that. And there we go. That should be lethal. Unless they have fungal infection. Yeah, and with it with it mean by yeah, that's that's the other thing, Mascalar. So with if I if I counter the fungal infection on my turn, because I'm attacking, if I counter on my turn, then I don't have mana to have the negate available on their turn. So I can't counter um, anything like an Eldest Reborn, a Teferi, anything like that um, on their turn. I don't have my negate available anymore. And I, I think that's certainly important to have the negate available on their turn. All right, good job, Nullhide. Well, I'd still have to pay two mana to be able to cast the dive down, right? Like, I have to pay two mana for the Nullhide, and then... Like, two mana for the Nullhide thing, and then one mana for the dive down. And then I wouldn't have enough for, for two mana for Null, Nullhide again on their turn, and then negate. Oh, no, no, I don't need to pay the two mana for the for the dive. I don't need to pay the two mana for the, the trigger, because they pay the two mana for the trigger. Sorry, my bad. I wouldn't need the two. I could have just had the one. Right, my bad. Overgrown Tomb. Let's go Steel Leaf Champion. Um, you know, Chupacabra is still a long ways away. They could have Cast Down, uh, but, you know, kind of forcing them to have Cast Down, because this, this Steel Leaf is going to do a lot of damage. Dang. They had Cast Down. That's that's unlucky. Um, let's go Jade Light in case, we, in case we hit. I'm not attacking for the one here, but we may get Woodland Stream. There we go. And so Woodland Stream, we need to put into play tapped. No, we do not have to also pay it. Yeah. Contempt. That one's good. Wow. That's a. It's pretty good. All right, opponent. Um. Got their got their good curve. They had the cast down, and they have Jade Light then Contempt. Um, Get Hadana's climb in play. Um, Galta. If they. Okay. So I think we can play Galta next turn, but of course Galta will Our get contempted. The course of likely. Well chosen. Well, that's unfortunate. If we got two counters on the Jade Light, we were, we'd be able to flip the Hadana's Climb and activate it and kill Karn this turn. If we got, if we would have got the second counter there, uh, we did not get the second counter. So three, six, seven. How much do you actually cost? Cost five. Yes, yeah, so we need a second counter anyway to, and then counter to be able to play Galta. So let's just go like this. All 
All right, and I'm gonna go counter on the summoning sick jade light. Have this jade light attack Karn. Trade a third jade light. We'll just trade four three for three two. Next turn we can potentially flip Hadana's climb. Certainly play Steel Leaf plus Galta next turn. You may regret that choice. Okay. No. Um. Probably want Steel Leaf above Finality, right? Yeah, Night Legends coming up later. Yeah, it's a fun deck. We should discuss our differences. I don't want them to be able to finality away the, the steel leaf, which is why I uh, I'll make use of that later. Why I had the put the counter on it. Yeah, Demir is it's it is a popular deck, but it's just not wonderful um it really has some some problems and i think just playing another color with it like with grixis is a better option for the deck overall all right let's kill karn attack them for four putting the counter on branch walker so i'm not all in on the steel leaf champion Retribution will be swift. It is best if you stop. <laughs> Thief of Sandy Thought Erasure. Yeah, that's that's a uh, kind of an annoying combo. Every fight makes me stronger. Draw and well, there fire. There goes Adonis climb. Good news is they only have two cards in hand. We get to... We do get to kill Vivian. I think I'll keep the, the dive down. Um, oh, so if they have a removal like spell that, for <laughs> Steel Leaf Champion this turn, I'm going to be sad. But if they don't, then the Steel Leaf, then, you know, us protecting the Steel Leaf champion after this is going to be good. And they didn't really have removal for it previously, so I didn't really expect them to. Oh, right, they cannot double block. Just attack in here. Do I attack all out? They block Branch Walker, block Branch Walker, take six, go to six. Is that worth it for me? Yeah. We'll trade our Branch Walker for their Wild Growth Walker. And just not let them... Okay. They're just taking nine. Down to three. Oh, come on. Double Explore. Ah, uh, you want Knight of Autumn in this deck? It's hard to it's hard to play Knight of Autumn. Also with the mana with Steel Leaf Champion and blue spells. But
There we go. There we go. Here we go. And they're dead next turn. We got this game. We know exactly what they're drawing. We know they're drawing Chupacabra. Hadana's Climb for the win. Yeah, Johnny would be hard to hard to cast. Um, also, you can't you you definitely can't play Steel Leaf at Johnny and blue blue cards. Um, definitely can't do that. The problem with Bant is you only have one Shockland. That's a that's a real big problem with Bant. You only have one Shockland. And Knight of Autumn is is an okay sideboard card, but it's honestly it's honestly not that amazing of a card in um, best of three. It's it's not very good against the top decks of the format. Boom! Cracking in for sixteen. All right, we got game one. Adonis climb, awesome. Let's see. Yeah, Hadon's climb gives it doubles the power and gives it flying. So Harpooner of course is out. Vivian is in. Carnage Tyrant's in. Galta is out. Null Hide kind of gets chumped a lot. Maybe I take Null Hide out. Nah. Would this deck be good with Polyraptor in it? No. Yeah, Polyraptor costs too much mana. Eight mana is too much. Yeah, Knight of Autumn is very good in best of one. It's not nearly as good in best of three. It's it's a like it's not a main deck card. Like there's there's not really decks I, I want a main deck in. Um in best of three. I think it's a it's a good sideboard card for certain matchups, but I don't think Knight of Autumn's a good main deck card. Like my Naya value deck be perfect for it with Militia Bugler, and I don't play a main deck in that. <laughs> yeah, inc Incubation Druid is absurd. Talk about a card that works well with Ajani, Adversary of Tyrants. Whew. Put a counter on that, bad boy. Hand's slow, but it's good. Looks like they have a fast start on the play, though. That's bad for us. Certainly. So I think my plan is, is Jade Light Ranger first, and then Steel Leaf Champion with protection. Simic Control. Simic Control will not be a viable thing, no. However, if you add another color and make it Bant or Teamer, um, those will be viable, I believe. I don't think you would play just two color Simic. Mana bases are going to be very good. Um, every three color combination you have right now. And if you just if you just add up the the shock like that we'll have after this, if you just add up the shock lands, and I guess so. If you just add up the shock lands and the uh, like the the buddy lands, you can you can play twelve shock lands, twelve buddy lands for any three color deck combination, and that's twenty four lands, and you'd have sixteen sources of each color. So 
it's not playing three colors doesn't make your mana any worse than playing two colors except for you, you don't have basics Uh, Teamer is pretty interesting because Wilderness, Wilderness Reclamation and Electro Dominance are absolutely incredible together. So that's why you'd want like the green red part of Teamer. Um, what type of decks are you seeing most often in Standard? Just, like, right now that I'm playing against the most? Hey, we got our first sub of the day. Ulkard for the third month in a row. Thank you so much, Ulkard. You are wonderful. Rivers Rebuke is not a good card in this matchup um, because occupied. of all their ETB effects. Giving them Chupacabra back, giving them Branchwalker Jaylight J Ranger back is honestly not, not good for us. But yeah, as far as this format, Golgari is certainly the deck I play against the most. Um, and... Uh, is a Drake's is probably the, the deck I play against the second most. This will aid us. Do you think Trophy will, will become better now that people might shift to three color mana bases? It, yeah, certainly possible. Trophy Trophy and Field of Ruin. Um, if people play a lot of like what I just said of like the, those kind of twenty four lands, maybe you know play a twenty fifth land as uh, a twenty fifth or twenty sixth land as like a basic or two. Those could certainly become better options. So Karn can still minus and get a Chupacabra, which is rough for us. The time has Looks come. like that's what our opponent's doing. Oh, detection Tower? Yeah. All right, I, sh I should probably... I'm going to get rid of the Carnage Tyrant, I think, then. Should I sideboard out Carnage Tyrant? I'm kind of thinking so. So we can double block their Carnage Tyrant with anything and trade one trade one creature for for their Tyrant. Like I can block with like Steel Leaf Jade Light, and those two would would trade. Oh no, I guess those two would would not be a good trade. Um, that's what I want. Do we want to? Let's see. Let's put the counter on. Counter, make a f another five four. Have two five fours. Yeah. Make another five four. Flip this. Give. Wild growth walker. The double flying, kill Karn. I do not feel pain. Maybe we should give that to, to Steel Leaf and just hit him for ten, and then just hit him for ten again. Honestly, that's what I pr should, probably should just do. I probably just don't need to kill Karn. Hit him for 10, hit him for 10 again. They would need an instant speed removal spell to not die. So we make this block, we're taking 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I should, I should block Branch Walker instead because if they have fine finality branch walker is a better card to get back for me can i can i play vivian yeah i can play vivian beasts are much more reliable than humans Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that song's really good. Balance comes. All right, hopefully Wild Growth Walker gets to survive. Oh, you green. Okay, yeah. Blue green like that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this deck's been certainly been pretty fun to play. And looks like we're about to be 2 and out here. Come to me. <laughs> I have not had to call a judge on Arena, no. So I'm I'm taking up uh Vivian first before playing the J Light before doing the exploring. Yeah, that's a reasonable card to draw. Go back up to 12. I'll just hit him for just hit him for 10. Hit him for 10 or play null hide. I guess we hit him for 10. Do you think the new Lightning Bolt Sorcery for one will be playable? Absolutely. That card's awesome. That card's definitely better than, than Wizard's Lightning. And Wizard's Lightning sees a lot of play. Yeah, that card is very good. Very, very good. All right, 2-0. With Hadana Stompy. It's easier to do a point of damage to the opponent than control a wizard. In standard, that is. In modern, it's probably easier to control a wizard. For the wizard deck. I don't know. Yeah, that card's great. Yeah, there's a new lightning bolt in Allegiance. It's... It costs three. Um, but it has spectacle for one. I'm going to keep that dive down. I think having multiple dive downs for Galta is important here. I think Galta is going to be my way to win this game. Play Branch Walker plus Woodland Stream. Well, that's a good point. It is sorcery, not instant. I didn't. I to be honest, I did not notice that before. That it was sorcery, not instant. That's that's certainly a good point. Huh. Um, they want to get this back with Memorial to Folly, of course. Oh, they have Detection Tower. Detection tower is hella annoying. Yeah, this does not look good. It does not look good for us. Because detection tower 
just makes dive down do nothing. I have an explore abs analyst to get to you as soon. To get you to check out as soon. Thoughts on Abzan Explorer? Um, yeah, there could there could certainly be good good Abzan Explorer. Um, yeah, I mean Golgari is very good. Um, it's just whether whether the white is worth the slots. Uh, we've already seen like how good Golgari is. White can offer up a few things for the deck. Um, right. I need to I need to pay two extra mana for Nullhide. I can't just play Hidana's Climb and Galta. No, nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, dive down after Detection Tower resolves doesn't work. Dive down just doesn't work at all. You have white for a Johnny. Johnny's certainly good. Double white is worrisome. Having a Johnny, Chupacabra, and Jade Light Ranger. Mana base certainly worrisome. Okay, yeah, you have that, the three mana branch walker with first strike, the white creature. Okay. Go, Galta, go. Go, go, Galta, go, go. Alright, so we need... We have 30 in three turns. They're at 30. We have that in three turns. Not next turn, but the following turn after that. So they don't have a removal spell for Galta. Which is, un which is you know, it's unlikely they do. I can't... I cannot block Chupacabra. If they would attack with Chupacabra, I would not be able to block with it. Um, because I, I can't put it in their graveyard because of Memorial to Folly. Alright, next turn. We got 30 damage next turn. We just need them to draw a brick here. Looks like they already got, you know, they don't have anything right now. Draw a brick. No Contempt. No, no Explore Creature. That's it! 30 damage! Woo! Oh, Galta. Doing your thing. Wow. You're not playing Chupacabra. Chupacabra is really good. Alright, maybe we trim on some dive downs. Maybe. And I'll keep Galta instead of Carnage Tyrant. Then. And. Throw a Negate in here. Negate sounds sweet. More Galta domination required. Galta sweet. Yeah, we had some. We had the the opponent got some bricks there for us. What else did I sideboard out last time? I know I I trimmed. I took out the two Galtas for Carnage Tyrants, but I I had one other. Because I would have the two dive downs in. I took out one other card. What was the other one card I took out? I don't know. Cause I kind of want to put a second negate in here. Taking dive down out because of detection tower. Is that what we did last time? Was trim a null hide? Yeah, I. I took out two Galta for two Carnage Tyrants, so I just did that swap, but there's still just something else. I don't know exactly what I did. Negate can, ca can counter Finality, though, which is pretty big. 
Oh, maybe I only brought two Vivians in. That could have been. That could have been a thing. Keep. Turn to Steely. Hope opponent doesn't have cast down. No, I don't think there's a way to check your sideboard in game one and in game on arena. I don't believe so. Hmm. All right, changing up strat. Since we have the dive down, I want dive down to be able to protect Steel Lee for Galta. So let's just kind of get let's get another land world elf out there. Um, Mastermind's acquisition, you you get to see it. Um, you don't get to you don't get to see your sideboard while you have a Mastermind's acquisition in your hand. But whenever you cast Mastermind's acquisition, you then choose library library or sideboard when you cast it, and then if you choose. Um, they're just keeping Find Broker. If you you know if you choose Library, you go search your Library. If you choose Sideboard, you go search your Sideboard. And and you know how it looks like whenever you're searching through your Library for whatever, it looks just like that with Sideboarding. Now Deckmaster, Deckmaster is working. Maybe refresh, try refreshing your stream or or something. Deckmaster should be working. Oh, dang it. They have Detection Tower. This does nothing. Why'd I even cast it? Stupid Detection Tower. Could've just held that. Um, I don't think so, Vulnerable God. This was a deck I made. I don't think anybody's done anything in any tournament with this deck. At least I haven't heard about it, if they have. Speaking of... Hadana, I would really, really like a Hadana Stompy. Or a Hadana, a Hadana's Climb. Hadana's Climb? Ah, oh, we don't get to see the second card, right? It's not Jade Life. Um, I think I just let one of these walkers get chupacabra Vivian. What are your thoughts on the guy conceding at GP Oakland? Uh, certainly worth it for them, too, it sounds like. like. They need to catch a flight, as far as I know. So... Now, I haven't used 5 0 lists in a while, actually. A lot of the, the decks we've been playing here are just decks I've been making. Yeah. All right, so they get Vivian, we get Vivian. This is like the fifth or sixth time I've played this deck on stream, though. So it's not necessarily a new deck for us here on stream. Our first three leagues with it, we actually went 15-0 and 0 with this deck. We went 5-0, 5-0, 5-0 the very first three times we played it. And I know we've played two other times, at least two other times since then. I think this is the sixth time we've played it. No one knows the wilds like I do. Unfortunately, Vivian cannot find Adonis Climb for us.
What? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Ugh. I think Hadan's climb was on top. Do I want to take a land? Nah. So. If I attack with Galta, they get to just draw so many cards. It turns on their find broker. You can't stop nature. <laughs> I'm not gonna decline. I'm gonna take one of the cards. All the cards go to the the they go to the bottom of the the graveyard. Either way, we can't can't stop that. Or they go to the bottom of the library. They go to the bottom of the library. Either way, we can't keep it on top. Um. So they get to get back. A Chupacabra with Find Broker. Yeah, I mean, we just need a block. And then... 2-1 Branch Walker. Alright, alright. Galta... I'll go ahead and have Galta attack Vivian next turn. Probably should have just done it last turn. Hopefully, out of those three cards, they don't have removal spell for Galta. Okay, good. They can they can have Fine Broker next turn, or sorry, Chupacabra next turn. I just definitely want to attack this Vivian. Their Vivian ultimating is certainly scary. If we draw Hadana's Climb, we win. That's the card that we need to draw. If we draw Hadana's Climb, the game's over. Madonna's Climb. Nope. Need to keep their Vivian from ultimating. So that's nine. Nine toughness, that is. Ten toughness. I'm a survivor. Midnight Reaper. They've drawn seven cards off this Midnight Reaper. Seven. It's pretty good. The wilds are my shield. It's pretty good. At least my my Vivian's gonna ultimate before theirs, but they have contempts in their deck. And they drawn like everything in their deck basically meet my newest friend oh well, opponent yeah probably not a way they lose if they don't gain life Hadana's climb is still lethal basically if they if they don't have contempt if they don't find contempt for Vivian they could lose I don't think I want River's Rebuke. Yeah, or Trophy. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the Detection Tower really got us a couple of those. You know, like... It was hurting us last game, but we still won. And it really got us earlier this game. Yeah, I'd rather play Sleep than, than River's Rebuke. I think sleep's a better card. Okay, 
Yeah, they lose a lot of life. Hadon's climb will certainly kill them now. Okay, well they have Chupacabra for wild growth, so will not kill them. So they drew, they drew 11 cards off that Midnight Reaper. Well, it's not... Oh, man. And we had we had Hadana's climb the next card. Oh, if they just didn't kill my Wild Growth Walker, I would have had them. I've seen things that would break someone like you. All right. So Hadana's climb costs five mana, which means we only have two left. I mean, we only have one left. Dun, 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 dun. So if Branch Walker hits a land, we can go Branch Walker plus Hadana's Climb. But they have Vivian to kill it and everything. I'm just going to take this other Null Hide and hope. That we get a block for Vivian. It's kind of unlikely. Dang. Balance comes. I think I'm drawing eleven cards with Midnight Reaper. A little too good for me. Why didn't I attack Vivian with Nullhide? Because I wanted to protect my Vivian. My Vivian was going to ultimate the next turn. We had eight loyalty on ours. So if if they could not deal damage to my Vivian, they couldn't get rid of it, then we were winning. What if I don't play Null Hide? I'll play rip, a couple of Rip Jaws instead. I don't know. Dive Down's been horrible both games. It's done absolutely nothing for us either game. They've had Detection Tower both games, though. I could certainly just not have Detection Tower. They've gone quite a ways farther down than 15 cards. But yeah, they've, they've had it both times. I don't know if they're, you know, it's possible they're playing two. It's likely they're only playing one. This is a horrible hand. Ugh. Turn one land war elf. No, I can't beat that. Yeah, Incubation Druid is amazing with Hadana's Climb, that's for sure. Yep. Play it on turn two, on turn three, Hadana's Climb. Second main, get to add three mana. Those are all cards that I have. I would like to would have loved to have a card like or a hand like that. A 
Looks like they may play a Chupacabra or something like that. How oh, they're looking at my Steel Leaf Champion. I would certainly like them to play anything but Vivian. Okay, I lied. That one's not good either. I don't have Null Hide in my deck right now. My hand was horrible there. Our opponent's hand was amazing. And we got destroyed. That one was not close. Ah! I guess I clicked it too too quickly. We got some rare. Didn't get to see the rare, though. Alright, we're 2-1. I and mean, we just beat Golgari the, the game before that. You know, like... That's fine losing that matchup. That matchup is traditionally Stompy's worst matchup. Dive Down has, has really helped that matchup for me. And and Hadana's Climb, of course, getting the flying in. But, uh... Yeah, we didn't have... Like, the Dive Downs... Or, sorry, the, uh... The Detection Tower. Game 2 killed me, and then my Game 3 hand was just horrible. Yep, you can find it right there. Streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG. Find my decks right there. Domri is certainly not broken at all. It is in. It's a mediocre planeswalker, but I'm excited to play it. Um, yeah, it's mediocre at best planeswalker, but it's certainly one that I'm excited to play. Yeah, that's that's the name of the song. No, mediocre at best doesn't mean bad, it means mediocre. I think Kaya is bad. And let's see, Dovenbon is pretty bad also. Domri's not bad, Domri's mediocre. I guess maybe not at best. I shouldn't say that. But mediocre, yes. Um, I cannot double spell. I'm going to cast Null Hide. I think that this is just getting countered, right? So I'm going to cast Null Hide. It gets countered. I'll attack for one. Mediocre should not mean unplayable. Mediocre means it's, it's an average card. That'd be like an, an average card being played. Bad cards are unplayable. Very surprised Null Hide actually resolved and we get to attack with it. They pay the 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 cost for Null Hide. We'll have we'll be able to have Dive Down available, but you know it's likely not going to happen. I mean, ten depends on the deck. Like Mono Blue has a lot of average cards in it. Um, but that's certainly what makes the great decks great decks or decks that don't really have average cards in it. Mediocre cards in it. Like, Merfolk, like, Merfolk Branch Walker is a mediocre card. That's probably, it's probably the worst card in 
in uh, Golgari, which is why Golgari is so good. It's just filled with good cards. Hmm. I guess I want to play this here, Hadana's Climb. If this surprisingly resolves, I'm putting the counter on the Steel Leaf Champion. Hmm. Guess I should have kept Dive Down Mana up. I was thinking I was going to be able to attack with this Land War Elf also. That's why I didn't keep the Dive Down Mana up, but... Yeah, we lost the last match. Game three, we got rolled. Our opponent had an awesome hand, and we had a horrible hand. And the game was over in four or five turns. Yeah, that's that's probably gonna that's gonna cost me. This is not not keeping up that mana for the dive down. They have to they have to draw a land. So we're not dead. They have to draw a land. If they draw the land, we die. If they don't, we win. So we'll see if they draw the land. Hopefully not. They only have 20 in their deck, so it's unlikely they draw a sixth land here. We lost to Golgari. We are we beat what did we beat the first round? We're 1-1 one one against Golgari, and we beat something else the first round. We beat Esper Control the first round. So we, we beat Esper, then beat Golgari, lost to Golgari. And now we have won game one. I guess not necessarily won yet. Mono blue, how do you like your dive downs? Are they gonna dive down there, Tempest Gen? Let's try again. They did have dive down for their Tempest Gen? Huh. That's pretty surprising how they were they were passing the priority to me willing to just trade and not cast their dive down. That's that's very surprising. They did that twice. But they just passed priority to me willing to just have their Tempest Gen die. That's quite surprising. Alright, other harpooner. Um Yet yeah, one turn too late on that island. Kind of want negate. I think I want negate. I'm going to trim dive down and Hadana's climb. I want Rex Age for Curious Obsession. Vivian is just pr pretty expensive in this matchup. Um, I don't think it's what I really want to be doing. It's pretty expensive. It's great killing Tempest Gen, of course. Um, it's obviously great at that. This costs so much mana. It's hard to resolve. Mm -hmm. 
This is certainly a keep. Hands don't get too much better in this. Grilled Mystic. Is it mediocre or bad? That's the one like where you make it a whole lot bigger, right? And you put lots of counters on it? No, that's Galloping Lizrog. Honestly, I am not a fan of all these weird frogs and lizards and whatever the Simic has. Like all these things. Like this gall Galloping Lizrog and Shark to Crab. Not a fan. Um. I know ideally, you know, I would like the Wild Growth Walker Jade Light thing going on here, but we can get Steel Leaf Champion in play. That card will end the game quickly. So Frilled Mystic is the... So that's the new... Um, no, not a big fan of Jellyfish Hydra beasts. I mean, like, one one or two of those cards is fine, but there's just so many in the set that it's just it's overkill. I don't, and, and then that's the other thing. The name is just Shark 2 Crab. Like, that's the name? Like, we couldn't get a better name? Like, that sounds like the name that, that they would have in R&D at, like, the... Like a playtest name or something. But yeah, Frilled Mystic, that card's very good. That's the the new uh, whatever card, the Counterspell, the UUGG. That card's good. It's the new Mystic Snake. That's the card. Thank you. Yeah, that's the new Mystic Snake. Problem with these negates, they aren't necessarily that good against Trickster. The good news though is the two Steel Leafs will still kill my opponent next turn. Um, just gonna play Wild Growth Walker, but honestly, I I think I maybe should just be keeping both negates up, because I feel like how we lose this game is if they cast Sleep. And so I'm gonna want to negate. I'm gonna want to negate for sleep. Um, but it's possible I just want two negates here, just to really make sure that I counter sleep, and they don't have sleep plus like, you know, I don't know, spell pierce or something. Certainly do not want another. Well, that's, that card's good. Hmm. Okay, so I, I need to hit a land with this Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, I need to hit a land here. Because I need to be able to cast this Prowl Harpooner as well. So it's got to be a land. It was not a land on either one. That's not good. My opponent did not need to make that block. I was only attacking for 5, they're at 10. If they don't make that block, I, I can't really win. Yeah, we've lost this one, though. Alright. 
Taking two of those negates back out for two more dive downs. Dive down is really only necessarily that good against Merfolk Trickster. Um, but it's so good against Trickster. Trickster is like their their big way of slowing me down. Um, it's also good against, you know, Tempest Jin, like making sure my creatures trade. Play Carnage Tyrant? Uh, well, it so Carnage Tyrant costs six mana, so you, you're going to need your opponent to not want to kill you very quickly for you to play Carnage Tyrant. So therefore, you're, you're looking at uh, the removal heavy decks and decks with lots of interaction that want the game to go long. And... And it, uh, and those are the matchups that you want Carnage Tyrant. So, you know, kind of looking at, like, control decks and stuff like that. Correct. Yep. Not anything aggro. Anything aggro, you will likely not have six mana. Like, that game, we did not have six mana to be able to play your Carnage Tyrant. And so you do not want it. Yeah, it's certainly a good hand. Um... It's not like one of our best hands or anything like that without having uh, without having Llanowar Elf. Like I'd I'd rather have Llanowar Elf Steel Leaf Champion than Wild Growth Walker Jade Light Ranger in this match, for example. Um, but it's certainly good. Hmm. We have kind of a tough question here of whether or not to play the other Wild Growth Walker. I'm gonna just pass on the other Wild Growth Walker. I think Daylight Resolving is certainly very important for us. And we need land. Neither of those are lands. Yep, Dex gets you to all my decks. If you want the individual deck list, you can always do exclamation point deck list as well. But yeah, all my decks you can find on streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Track team! Day's going good. We are having a good time playing some Stompy. We're going to be trying to stomp some people here. All right. We had to take a turn off, but good news is we're very ahead, so taking a turn off is not a problem. Um, I think Opt is is much, much better than anticipated. I just think the one versus two mana is really important um, for Mono Blue. So, yep, I'm liking, liking Opt there. Um, certainly feels... No? Down to two. Thanks, Cold War. All right. Creatures are just too big on the play there for Mono Blue. I was saying it felt like Trickster. That's what I was getting at before is that it felt like Merfolk Trickster, but, you know, we got to attackers, so I didn't think it was. And there we go. Play first. Three and one. Deck's doing good so far. It's a little bit of an awkward hand. Double Hadana's Climb. They are legendary. Thanks, Nerzilla. Glad you like the tie. Ooh, that made the hand better. I think I'm going to just play Hadana's Climb next turn. Uh, maybe I just play Branch Walker next turn. Hmm. I'm not sure. I guess we get a draw step here to, to really figure it out. I kind of want to just play the Hadana's Climb and get that going.
yeah, Friday. Talking about all the new cards on Friday. Uh, Friday stream from same time, you know, 3 to 10. We'll be going through the entire set of Ravnica Allegiance, giving each card a constructed grade for standard of A through F. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll be you know, I'll be talking with y'all in chat about all the cards. Um, I'll be putting the videos up on YouTube. Uh, you know, you can find them on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Hope y'all follow me on YouTube if you aren't already. And, uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. So this costs a lot of mana still. Do I want to flip it on his climb yet? Yeah, we'll just flip it on his climb because we have we can play the other one then. Yeah. So no attackers. We'll play the new one and start putting counter. Oh right, we don't get counter till next turn, but we still get to cast the new one. We get a counter on the branch walker. Um. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, like, the press release from, you know, even a long time ago, whenever the set was named or whatever, they would say the total number of cards in the set. It's usually around 255. Um, I mean, just looking at any of the ca cards, it looks like 259. If you just look at, like, a card, uh, and you can see it down the bottom left-hand corner, so it's it's whatever out of 259, so 259 in the set. Ah. I don't know, just close this. What's going on? Okay. We're back. So they got a find broker in their hand. Uh, Multani does have reach. So I guess I'm just casting. I guess I'm just going to cast Null Hide and Galta. I, and that means I'm not activating Winged Temple of Arazka this turn. But Galta will have lethal in the air next turn. If they kill Galta, I'm going to keep pumping up this Nullhide Ferox. Yeah, they, they removed blocks from the, the sets. All sets are standalone now, which I'm actually a really big fan of that change. I didn't like block drafting myself, but um, it gives them flexibility to not necessarily need to have multiple sets on the same plane. Ravnica here is kind of a, an exception that, you know, we, we're going to have multiple sets in a row on Ravnica because uh, it works out with having the five shock lands then the other five shock lands. And also just story wise, this is like the ending of the of whatever big fight between the Planeswalkers and Nicol Bolas. Um, so but it gives them the flexibility to go to like a plane like Dominaria for one set and then go uh, somewhere else for another set. Oh, it's 269. Was I, I was just, that five, or the six looked like a five to me. Dun, 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 dun. We don't need Harpooner, but there's nothing really here that I want too much. I think I may just play a couple of Vivians. Add some grind cards. Carnage Tower could be kind of good in this matchup. I don't think they'll really have... Yeah, I'll play Carnage Tyrant over Galta. Here. They're going to have a lot of chupacabras and stuff like that. Let's see that. Bank got early cards from RNA. Absorb, Frilled Mystic, Dovin's Aquity, Wilderness Reclamation. Is it going to top Jess Guy, in your opinion? Um, I think there's a lot better chance that Esper is the best control deck than either of the other two. Hmm, I'm gonna get blue mana. Um, but it's it's kind of hard to play things like absorbed and frilled mystic together. Like those are those are hard to cast together. I don't think you'd have absorb in your frilled mystic deck too much. I mean, maybe cards won't be that hard to cast together. Hey, good job, Code Empire. You got to plat. Where'd you go? Alright, keep it. Zerf, going good. 
You still playing uh, Jeskai Legends over there, Zerf? That was a very good draw step. It really feels like... Like, the good thing is... Like, it doesn't feel like there's anything that's so much better than anything else. Rakdos has gotten really good cards. Gruul's gotten really good cards. Uh, talked about, like, those control decks getting good cards. Um, there's... Make... I don't know of a three-color combination that's not going to be playable kind of thing. Like, it looks like you can kind of do whatever you want because uh, everything's getting good cards, which is which is good, which is exactly what you want with Standard. You don't want things when there's, like, the Scarab God and Hazaret and Chandra Torch of Defiance, which are just so much better than anything else you can do. That's a huge problem. Only a fool stands people, creatures. They vanish all the time. Mardu, Mardu Bugler. Yeah. That could certainly be a good deck. You get Ravenous Chupacabra, Direfully Daredevil, Siege Game Commander, all together with your Militia Buglers. So Mending a Dominar. That's a cool card. Certainly like that one. I like what our opponent's doing over there. So the problem is, I wouldn't... I mean, I don't want my opponent to kill my Null Hide, but if they do kill my Null Hide, I would get to Vivian and Minus and destroy their Mending. But destroying their Mending doesn't sound like something that's really that important. They're going to have two, potentially three lands back into play if they Vraska tick up again. All right, they don't want us climbing anymore. Things. Which, you know, that's a trade I like, of course. Um, having a second Hidana's Climb and uh, them having chump blockers, they'll be hard to get through of Vraska. Or, sorry, get through to to kill Vraska. Um, so I don't think that they have another way to interact with this climb if they're using their Vraska like that. Yeah, Izoni for one. Their hand must not be very good if they're just casting Izoni for one. Hey, hey, Maddie. Life's treating me really good. Yeah, life's treating me really good. Really like, you know, just playing Magic every day. Um, real glad everybody's in here watching, having a good time as well. And, you know, real excited for Ravnica Allegiance. We are, what, eight days away from it being on, on Arena here. Teamer is blue, green, and red. I like I like the new Domri a lot. It's not it's not wonderful. It's not like a great planeswalker, but I'm really excited to play it. It's it looks like a fun card to play, um, and it's one that that I want to play. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it quite a bit. So we can hit him for 18. Let's go ahead and do that. Put them down to four. Boom. 18's a lot. Mm. 
Did I just not play my Lana Werewolf? I should play Lana Werewolf here to protect from an Eldritch Reborn. I don't think I played my Lana. I think I just went past turn. I did. I just went to end step. This is a Todd Steven special. Hey, Wing Chung. Oh, yeah. Definitely super excited for Ravnica Allegiance over here. <laughs> With the Nama, it's not stompy anymore. It's more like jumpy. Okay, that thing has reach. That has reach. Oh, they got Glowspore Shaman in play, too. Okay, okay. They're not dead yet. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's still just worth it for us just to keep putting pressure on. Not let them block with Glow Spore Shaman. They're not going to have the mana to... Uh, to Memorial the Folly back the spider and play it again. Oh, yeah, Burn's getting a big upgrade. I guess it is a sorcery, though. That So that, you know... So it is... It is a sorcery, not not an instant. That's that's something that I didn't realize when I just first you know read the card. I didn't really realize that it was. Hmm. Do I want to trade with Glowspore Shaman? Kinda. Does it matter if I take five? I mean, I can, I can also dive down and save my creature. Flake Crafter's a thing. I'll just take it. Yeah, they didn't have Eldest last turn. Oh, another spooky spider. Stop with these spiders. Oh, they hit Frasca? Wow, that's good. I only pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. Alright, so I don't need to spend mana on Wing Temple of Araska. Um, because they just have to block with their spooky spider anyway. So that means I do get to well, now I get to kill Vraska also. That minus is so good for me. So now I get to attack them. They have to. They have to chump block the null hide, and then my land of can attack their Vraska. Ah, well, not anymore. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Okay. Our null hide is not as is not as protected now. Um I could have grabbed, sorry, I could have grabbed um, Land War off there to be able to have Dive Down up, but I just, you know, I like Branch Walker a lot more as a card there. The end's uh, let's see, back over to the chat, Sonic Bebop says, what's the best way to deal with, deal Golgari decks packed with Wild Growth Walker? Um, yeah, Mono Green does not, does not have a good answer to Wild Growth Walker decks. Like, Wild Growth Walker is Chupacabra, Mono Green doesn't. Takatli Honor Guard is a is a great card against them. Necrotic Wound would not have killed Null Hide. They did not have a, a big enough. They only had five um, for the thing there. That's their third hatchery spider. Let's see if you're worth three of those things. 
No one knows the wilds like I do. And then there are five hits of Vivian. So there, there are two hit Glow Spore Shaman. There are four hit Frasco. There are five hits Vivian. Opponents live in the dream. We've played so much spider here. Why can't we live this dream? It's crazy. I guess I block. I can't just, you know, I'm at seven. I can't just die. Meet my newest friend. Have they run out of spiders? These spiders have reach. So, like, every, the last three turns, they've just been blocking with these spiders that have reach. So, so I haven't been able to kill my opponent. <laughs> Time for the fourth spider. Top tech fourth spider. Let's go. They thankfully don't have the mana to Memorial to Folly back a spider right now. Thankfully. Even find, because spiders cost seven mana, they haven't hit land drop since, you know, like they, they had seven mana, then seven, then seven. They haven't, it's so like they don't have any lands in hand. Thankfully. So they would need two more mana to be able to have find plus. Spider. You can't stop they only, Like nature. they only have seven right now. They'd have to have nine. Hi Shin. Good evening. All right, opponent. What do you got? Oh, getting fat. Its loss will serve us. They could have like, you know, they could have like Chupacabra. Ooh. Well, they could have just Necrotic Wound now, right? Does Necrotic Wound kill now? Oh no, they have nine. They do have nine. Necrotic Wound get, gets them. Ah, uh, no, Necrotic Wound. They wasted it earlier on that little Land War Elf. Playcrafter would have been fine. Oh, we would have sacked Vivian. Playcrafter wouldn't have mattered. Necrotic Wound is what they needed. Whew! Alright, 4-1. Yeah, so they, they need the... They needed a Wound because they, they could pay for, for Wound. Like, Cast Down, they didn't have enough mana to cast. Alright, 4-1. Let's see if we get this in the last one. So how many of the mythics do we know about now? There's still one Rakdos mythic we're missing. And... Uh, yeah, there's still one Rakdos mythic we don't know about. And we know the white, the blue, the black... And the... Don't we know the red mythic? Yeah, and we know the red mythic. We don't know the green mythic yet. Right? Like, there's... We don't know a mono green mythic. As far as I can tell. So we're still missing two mythics. The green one... The green mythic and one more Rakdos mythic. The two mythics we were still missing from the set. No, I don't do... Yeah, I don't do ranked stuff. I am... Yeah, I'm bronze... Bronze 4. Yeah, I'm that. 
I play two out of three. That's not ranked. Green will be a worm. I don't know. We already have like a, you know, we have the 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 gruel worm already. I don't know if we'll get another worm. There's 15 mythics, and just like Guilds of Ravnica, it had two of each guild and one of each singular color. And so right now we've we've seen a lot of the two of each guild, but we haven't seen the one of each color. Yep, next turn, Galta. Heck yeah. Yeah, there's basically always 15 mythics a set. Um, smaller sets, of course, have le less sometimes, but it's usually 15 per set. And with, with Ravnica here, they have them kind of designated by color pretty easily for us. Mm, really want this, this blue mana. I think I trade Null Hide for Wild Growth Walker. Just sad. And opponent does not want to trade. Surprise Nissa. That'd be sweet. Reprint Giant Adifage. Don't think it'll be that. Yeah, I know what a pizza is. Pizzas are very delicious. I don't, I, I don't know a single person that does not know what a, what a pizza is. Like, I, I don't know anybody that doesn't. Alright, and I think I just wait for Climb. They have Detection Tower also? This deck, I mean, in, in, Incubation Druid is good with... Hadana's climb, but our deck doesn't really have ways to use lots of mana, so our deck wouldn't really use Incubation Druid too well. Alright, no Vivian, please. No Vivian, please. Please don't kill my climb. Hey, DJ Paula B. Happy Wednesday. Um. Hey chat, what do you think of Kaya? That was a question from Johnny Joestar. If you have any big time Kaya things. Can we get a Jade Light Ranger here? Alright, we can sleek ass. Hey Todd, going to a modern event tomorrow. Any other insights on Green White Company versus Jeskai matchup? I played it last week and drew. And the one game I won it, I overwhelmed my opponent before he could answer anything. Um, that could be a... I mean, it's not necessarily the best game plan, because, you know, if they do draw something, then you're just so far behind. Uh, look for ways to attack their white sources. They don't usually necessarily have lots of... You know, they don't have, like, a whole lot of basic planes over there. Um, and, you know, like they need, like, two white for Supreme Verdict kind of thing. Or sometimes they play Settle the Wreckage. But, um, you know, you ghost quartering white sources is, like, the that's the color you want to go after. What can I expect from the new set if I only have white weenie for now? Is it getting good cards? Um, I don't remember anything off the top of my head necessarily for white weenie, but I haven't necessarily been thinking about it. I don't know, you could just kind of go to, like, a 
mythicspoiler.com. You can see all the cards there. And you kind of just kind of scroll through the white cards. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Feel oh, the dang. wrath of Scala. It's getting a replacement for Pride of the Conquerors? Are you sure about that? I don't remember anything that's better than Pride of the Conquerors. There's a... I, I would be very surprised if there was a, a better card than Pride of the Conquerors in the set. I, I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, it's just... We're pretty much dead here. Your demise won't be quick. The oh, wilds are my shield. Instant that make, makes your creatures in, uh, invulnerable. It's probably indestructible. Maybe indestructible and puts one more counters on it and gives vigilance. Okay, yeah. So it has... Okay, it gives vigilance if you cast it as a sorcery. I think I remember what you're talking about now. I don't see it on here. Uh, I mean, that's what that's what Doom Whisperer does, right? Like they get to surveil into having awesome cards to draw. I'm kind of off this Nullhide Ferox. Oh wait, our opponent there just had. Uh, I want to play Galt. I mean, I want to play Carnage Tyrant, but our opponent there just had Detection Tower also. Why do they always have so many Detection Towers? Hmm. Yeah, Harpooner can 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 kill a Doom Whisperer, but that's all it can do. Um, it's a terrible card at, at any other time in the game, unless they have like their one Doom Whisperer. Like they maybe have two Doom Whisperers at the most. I have Vivian that can kill that, or I can just have Adonis climb flipped and kill him with flyers there. I don't want to play a, a card that's not good, like Harpooner, which is just it's just not a good card almost all the time. I don't want to pl put a card like that in my deck for maybe killing a Doom Whisperer. Even at that point, then they get to like do all their surveilling with Doom Whisperer, and yeah, it's not worth it. All right, Wild Growth Walker. Oh yeah, Rakdos. I I feel like Rakdos is is probably the the set that's gotten the most so far. Rakdos looks really good. Okay, so we'll have Steel Leaf next turn, and then Vivian or Steel Leaf the next turn. It's probably going to be Steel Leaf, then Vivian, then Steel Leaf plus something else. Alright, so our opponent just has Cast Down. And they, they know we're playing Steel Leaf, so we'll see if they want to use Cast Down right now or not. Cast Down was a great card for them to have, that's for sure. I really hope they don't have Chupacabra also. They don't just have Cast Down into Chupacabra. Okay, good. It looks like Contempt. And we get to play Vivian. And hope they don't have another Contempt.
Would go, you like Vivian, to I've go. seen things that would break someone like you? Win the game. Oh yeah, all the all the color combinations. I certainly can't wait to have all the Ravnica Legions cards. We're gonna be brewing up so many decks here. Um Well they had second contempt. And we can only find lands. So this is this is the way that we could lose this game. Second contempt, quite rough. Alright. Get one land. Don't be a 5-4. Nope, it is a 5-4. Or a 4-3, I mean. Uh, so that trades a Steel Leaf Champion. And they get Vivian next turn. Yeah, this is pretty horrible for us. Orzov has been kind of disappointing uh, for the cards they've gotten, in my opinion. Um, they're looking like a good control color, getting Mortify and the, the new Sweeper as well. Um, that's good. We, we need our own Vivian here. Can we find a Vivian? Our own Carnage Tyrant. Trade Branchwalker for Jade Light? No, because I would trade it with for Branchwalker. I trade Branchwalker for Branchwalker. I don't want to do that. Third Contempt? Oh, we're very dead. Ugh. Or deck can't really handle having this many lands. Nine lands. I don't have mana sinks. I can't. I can't handle having nine lands. Let's tear this. The wilds are my shield. We had a really good opening start. We really gave it a good try, but Golgari had their cards. They beat us. Ugh. Ten lands. Certainly cannot draw 10 lands with this deck. Hey, Balding Yeti. All right, four and two. So we went one, two against Golgari. Um, and we beat everything else. All right, we got two Mythics though. Four, two is certainly a good league. Can't be upset with that. Yeah, opponent just had a, you know, we had a really good opening hand, but opponent just had a better one. All right, two mythics. Let's see what we got. Hey, we got another Jace. Challenge. I think I only had one Jace before us. So that's that's a good opening. Who knows? We may Jace may be playable at some point. Hey, great job, Irrational Quirk. Way to go. Got top 64 at GP Oakland with a value town and got your first pro point. That's awesome. Way to go. Uh, that one I've opened up so much. I would have like 10 Naru, Naru Mehas if you could. All right. Gained gold. Got a Jace. Good league. Good league. Um, I like the change of putting fourth Wild Growth Walker in over the Harpooner. I like that change. Um, I wonder if... No, like I wonder. So I was gonna say, I wonder if this deck should kind of mo move away from Nullhide and towards Vivian. Um, but I don't, I don't think so. But I wonder. I could see that though. I could see just maybe just not playing Nullhide or just having Nullhides or like sideboard. 
and you just have like f like three or four Vivians in the main. Yeah, it's it's definitely tough to play Galta without Null Hide for sure. I basically just always want Vivians though. Maybe I'm supposed to play Vivians instead of Galtas and have Galtas in the sideboard. That's that could certainly be something. But there we go. If you're watching this over on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out another video. But again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.